going to show you a little bit more about this ear otoscope. So again, here's the uh, the base unit. Here's the wand. Um, this is made by a company called Teslong, and it's an ear otoscope. It's meant for you to you know have a camera so that you can put this in your ear and look at your phone, and it'll show you a video of what's in your ear. Um, some other practical uses for it would be you know up your nose if you want to look up your nose in your throat obviously clean it in between um, but I can see some other practical uses for this being for industries like auto mechanics plumbers uh, air duct cleaners for people that need to be able to see in either tight small spaces where they can't physically get their head down to that level to see uh, so imagine if you're a car mechanic you know, stick this down and be on the engine uh, into you know to, to check the alternator or your spark plugs or whatever uh, anything that you need to do to see uh, again further than than, uh, than your eye can see uh, the cool thing is, is you can stick this down in there and right on your camera you can see what it is that you're looking at with that said uh, the package also included these little tips obviously these are the tips that go in the ears up the nose like when you go to the doctor's office um, and then also included in there is a, uh, a little wax scoop. Look up tiny little spoons in here, but they would just go right on the end of here. And you can put it on there, go in there, and scoop out the wax if you happen to find any. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration video, I will not be doing that. Quickly about the ear otoscope. Here's the power button. You hold it down for a couple seconds and it turns it on. And uh, the different blue lights right here is the diff is the uh, the battery strength that's remaining. Obviously, if you had it plugged in uh, a little further than I had it plugged in before, uh, it'd be full strength on there. On the side here is the uh, the button that controls the different lighting settings that are on here. I believe there's three different lighting settings on it, and uh, there are six LEDs at the tip of this. So I'm going to show you that right now. So hopefully you can see that. There's button one, button two, button three for brighter, and there it shuts it off. There's also a reset button on here. Uh, I haven't quite messed around with that setting yet but I believe it's to reset the functionality on here with a connected device. It requires an application on your phone in order to view the video called Wi-Fi Image. It's available for both Android and iPhone so just go to your app store for whichever platform you're on and download it. Um, so I'm going to pull up the video now for my phone so you can see what it looks like. So here's Wi-Fi Image and here's a message that says not send I don't know why it does that message but it does that after every time I open it up so <clears throat> okay so here we have a, a view of the application so if you look right here this is the camera showing uh, again I want to give you a, a view of the different light settings so So I want to show you my placement that I'm sitting at. So there's the different brightness settings of the camera. And there's off. So on, on brighter, on even brighter, and finally it's off again. So I want to show you this video of me putting the, the tip on. You can actually see the inside of the tip. It has ridges. I'm not sure. I guess that's to hold it in properly. And all right, so from here, I'm going to take the tip and I'm actually going to show you inserting it in my ear. So if you're squeamish about any of this kind of stuff, go ahead and fast forward or just you know stop the video now. And here's my ear. So camera's off and kind of difficult to get your ears really difficult to navigate through there it goes all right so there's camera dark a little better oh, don't move and a little bit better it's really difficult to navigate your ear canal <laughs> I'm gonna try the other one. So 
there we go.